An icon in the River City is asking for your help to stay afloat. The COVID-19 pandemic has caused the Belle of Louisville Riverboat to lose hundreds of thousands of dollars, and that's just in the last month. Tonight, Gebra Gedgis talked with the CEO who's worried about the future of these historic vessels. River boats are usually busy around this time of year. Derby, graduations, school field trips tend to sell out tickets, but only one cruise has sailed since the start of 2020. The longer we go without cruising, the more our future lays in the balance. CEO Krista Snyder says in March they were just starting what was supposed to be an exciting season. It's when we make much needed um, ticket revenue and charter revenue in order to be able to sustain our operations. One week after its first sale of spring, the coronavirus forced all cruises to cancel through May 10th. Right now, we are just lasting um, on our reserves. They're asking for donations from community members while suffering a severe financial hit. Snyder says dozens of staff members had to be furloughed. The Bell already has lost hundreds of thousands of dollars. If lockdowns continue, Snyder says that number could climb to a million. She's actually unique in the entire world. She's the only continuously operating steamboat of her type um, and of her age. The tourist attraction has been a part of the city for more than a hundred years. There are three vessels that require constant maintenance. That's important to preserve that history, but only with ongoing maintenance of these you know, wooden boats that sit on the water. Um, can we make sure that that happens? Last spring, Metro Council had to cut subsidies to the Bell, something they were hoping to gain back this fiscal year with new ways to expand its audience and generate revenue. The Bell is hoping to reschedule cruise dates in the fall, but the CEO says there's a lot of unknown right now. If you want to help, go to WHES11.com to learn how you can donate. Reporting in downtown Louisville, Sanai Gabrigetigas, WHES 11 News.